So welcome back from Jesus. It's Crunch Bang! We're back with the necessary equations or things to learn for quantitative reasoning. Yeah, this probably isn't the most enjoyable thing to do, but these are just essentially a requirement to know of for the exam and I hope really that this does actually help you. I'm not just saying that just to please you guys, so let's get into it. So now one of the first things that we can see is that a unitary ratio is the same of A to B is the same as A divided by B. By this I mean if every four apples is divided two to two, it shows that the ratio between A and B is one to one. So how did I get that value? 2 divided by 2, which in this case is A divided by B, and that would be the unitary ratio. So unitary ratios are really important, whether it be recipe examples or baking examples, which are recipe, and I keep on making that mistake, so I'm taking L's. And obviously we know there are 52 weeks in a year, quite obvious, um, 52 cards in one deck, and we know that this is not including, I'm going to write that here, not including the joker. Oh, that, that handwriting is including, oh, the jokers in the deck. Um, whew, handwriting is bad. We know an isosceles triangle has two sides and two of the base angles are equal. These are the sides that essentially there will be, if I'm going to show the diagram here, if I'm modeling that to be an isosceles triangle and there's that line and that line, to make it more visible, I'll show the colors here, here and here. If it shows that there are two lines that are going perpendicular to the triangle, it means that those two lines are the same in length and the angle that it forms with the line will be equal. So by this, we mean this angle here of the triangle and this angle here of the triangle and these two lines of the triangle are the same. These are these two are the same. Now, as I've said, the relationship between speed and time is important. Another massively important thing is to know percentage change calculations. Now, this will come up so many times, so it's a vital skill, a vital thing for you to know how to do. Um, the difference is the new takeaway, the original. Let me just write that down. New takeaway original. So if I have a cake that's or a cake is a bad example but if i have an area of grass that is a hundred and it has now meant that somehow it's grown to 115 the difference would be obviously 115 take away 100 which would be 15 over original which would be 100 times by 100 which would mean that the two would cancel the 100 and the 100 and hence a 15% increase, that's not meant to come up, a 15% increase, so just a positive 15%. Area of a circle, this should say, this obviously should be indented, so it will be pi r squared. Circumference is diameter, so it would be 2 pi r, 2 pi r, um, median, Median is a middle value in an ordered set of data. So ensure that you know that and you see examples if you have forgotten. Mode is most common. You should know what that is. Mean, mean is the sum of all the terms and divided by the number of terms. So for example, if there are three numbers, four, five, and six, the sum of all the terms are 15. There are three terms, so the mean will be three. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 3. Now if I'm going to move down in order just to show you some of the other rules. Okay, let's move down. Um, let's get the pen back. Okay, so 1 mile is 1.6 kilometers. 1 foot is 12 inches. So you should know that, especially if you're insecure about your height and your boy. I'm not saying I am. So kg we should know that especially if you're a man and you like to lift heavy weight now knowing the fractions is not a must however it would save you a lot of time especially when it comes to estimating so knowing this is sort of like a bonus but yeah i don't know how you'd put it i'd just say it's a major bonus so to know this would be better now that's basically all you need to know for the quantitative reasoning section 
and I hope that has benefited you. So let's move on to the next part of the course and you know, honestly if you find it quite boring, I'm trying to cheer you up. Hopefully you're trying to concentrate as well as trying to learn and I'm trying to liven things up as you can tell with this forced attitude of engagement and all of that craziness so but on the screen I usually crack ironic jokes sarcasm all the time but I know that I need to change this up especially if I'm trying to hit a different type of audience so let's move on to the next part of the course if you have very minimal time I have an ebook that is present in the link description and that's my killer 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 tips Essentially, I explained them in the video, but there are some tips in there that I haven't really explained. Basically, catch you guys on the other side. Why is it hard for me? Why is it hard?